Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The Incredible Planet Threesome of August 2010. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And are we ever going to open August with a cosmic super show? Because you'll be able to watch three planets forming a planetary triangle come closer and closer until on Sunday night, August 8th, they'll all meet in a circle less than five degrees wide. And that, my friends, is super close. Plus, we'll even throw in an appearance of the first planet from the sun for the first week of August. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Sunday night, August 1st, 45 minutes after sunset, facing west. And before we move on to our planet threesome, let's handle the first planet out from the sun first. Tiny 3,000 mile wide Mercury, which you'll see just above the horizon, looking rather pinkish. It's called the pink planet because it never gets very high above the horizon, so we always see it through dusty, dirty layers of our Earth's atmosphere, which make it look pink. Binoculars will really help. And now, for the super goody threesome, simply look up to Mercury's left, and the brightest planet of them all will be super dazzling, 8,000 mile wide Earth-sized Venus. Now the reason it is so bright is that it is completely covered by clouds which act like a mirror and reflect brilliant sunlight. It's so bright it has often been mistaken as a UFO. Up to its left you'll see two wonderful planets both about the same brightness but much dimmer than Venus. Tiny half the size of our Earth and Venus, 4,000 mile wide Rouge Gold Mars. And just above it, super beautiful through a telescope, the ring planet 75,000 mile wide Saturn, whose rings look almost edge onto us right now. You'll notice that these three planets form a nice triangle. The fun part is that we can watch it shrink and become a much tighter triangle night after night, finally ending up in a five degree wide triangle Sunday, August 8th. This Sunday, August 1st, Mars and Saturn are only two degrees apart from each other. Now, one half of a degree is as wide as a full moon, so we could fit four full moons between Mars and Saturn. The distance between Venus and Saturn and Venus and Mars, however, is roughly seven degrees, which means we could fit 14 full moons between Venus and Saturn and Venus and Mars. Watch the changes. Monday, August 2nd, Tuesday, August 3rd, Wednesday, August 4th, Thursday, August 5th, Friday, August 6th, Saturday, August 7th, and ta-da, Sunday, August 8th. All three of them form a much different looking triangle and could fit in a circle less than five degrees wide, which is 10 full moon widths wide. So, mark Sunday, August 8th, as the night you have to go out 45 minutes after sunset and see a super planet threesome just above the horizon. But remember, even though they look close, they are not. Indeed, on Sunday, August 8th, Venus will be 72 million miles away. Mars will be 189 million miles away. Saturn, however, will be a whopping 951 million miles away, which shows us that appearances from planet Earth can be very deceiving when it comes to the planets. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for 1995.